My name's Lucy Kerr and I'm a senior biomedical scientist and I work in histopathology. Say if you went to your GP and got a mole removed, it basically comes to histopathology, we process it so the pathologist can look at it and say whether it's cancer or it's inflammation. I always think people, when they're young, they're very lucky if they know what they want from such an early age. From when I was doing my GCSEs to my A-levels, I never really knew. I sort of, it was sort of feeling my way as I went. My mind wasn't on work and study at the time. I was thinking about, you know, boyfriends and things like that. I had a couple of years of not knowing what I wanted to do, and I tried sports studies, and I tried um, being a fitness instructor. I didn't like the idea of getting up in front of people and saying, copy me, sort of thing. But I really enjoyed the scientific side of it and learning how the human body works and stuff like that. I thought, well, OK, well, let's just pick subjects that I'm naturally good at or I like. So that's when I chose my A-levels. I chose art, English literature and biology. They don't go together at all. Once I've got them, I realised, you know, science is the way for This is the way where I want to be. Um, so I was just flicking through a Sunday paper one morning in bed. Um, I stumbled across a trainee biomedical science position and basically they would pay for my degree and um, I would get a wage at the same time. So I thought, oh yeah, this sounds great, you know. Um, and then I applied and I got the position. I'd work full, full days at work and then uh, one day a week I would go to university. I mean, from my perspective it was good because I just really wanted the money. I wasn't too concerned about being at uni full time um, and having the whole student life. I mean, it, when I hear stories from people that have gone to uni full time, they said, oh, you've missed out on student life and all this sort of stuff. But I've still, I've made great friends doing it part time sort of thing, friends that are going to be best friends for the rest of my life. So I don't regret any of it at all. I was brought up in a single parent. Um, my mother, she was, she's absolutely brilliant. She, she's, she's always been, you know, I'm happy with whatever you do. I've just learned from the fact that we never had any money. Or, and I, I mean, she was able to provide for me, but we never had any uh, money as such. I think that's really ingrained in me that if I want something, I really have to work for it. And I think I've not, didn't realise at the time, but it really does show now that um, you know, I want to get out there and earn money and I don't want to struggle like my mother did, you know. I suppose the group of friends that I was with, um, we've got, all gone down very separate paths. Most of them weren't as career-minded or career orientated as me. They weren't thinking about um, progressing up the ladder, so to speak, so I'm probably the only one that's actually gone and done a degree and I've got to the stage that I'm at now. I, I can see now how different we are, but the core you know, the reasons we were friends in the, in the first place are still there and they're the, still the reasons that we're friends now. It doesn't really matter. I think it was, uh, what's the word, um, fate that I came across the, the advert in the newspaper, you know, saying trainee biomedical scientist. When I was about 17, 18, I entered a relationship with somebody. It, it was a bad... A bad point in my life where I was trying to figure out what to do and what I wanted to do yet I had this personal what was going on in my personal life sort of affecting it quite a lot at the end of it I still managed to get my A-levels and I still managed to get my degree and I kept and I realized what a strong person I am or how it was making me and I was thinking gosh I can achieve all this and have all this horrible stuff going on in my personal life and I just thought I'm not putting up with it anymore and it gave me the strength to actually finally get out of that relationship and leave. It's something that I'm really proud of and in certain respects I don't regret what went on because it made me in the person I am today. It's made me more determined definitely. Yeah we've got a great social life at work. Um, quite a few of us often go to the cinema once a week. It's quite a large department that we work in so there's people leaving and joining us. It's very sort of dynamic. When somebody joins we'll all go out and make sure they get involved and um, they feel welcome basically. And when somebody leaves we'll do the same. Somebody the other week left we'd all put money in for a gift and they ended up going home with a Nintendo Wii. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely happy with what I do and I can see a career path set out for me. In retrospect, I think I've, I've, I've gone into a really interesting um, field.